The Sacred Heart Novena Prayer Day 7 O my Divine Savior, according to the words of the Holy Scriptures, you are in truth our advocate before our Father. You have freely taken this office upon yourself and unceasingly exercise it with faithful and loving zeal for all who trust in you. Your influence with the Father is so great, he will not refuse you. He always hears you as you have testified at the grave of Lazarus. Filled with this faith and with confidence in your compassionate heart, I come to you to plead my cause. I have offended our Father and have called the anger of his justice upon myself. I am heavily indebted to his strict justice. I have nothing with which to pay the debt, and therefore must fear the punishment. Besides all this, I am in the present need of the request I place before you, where only the power of the Father can help me. For the salvation of my soul, I sorely need this grace. O may it come to me from the riches of our Father, O oh, my beloved Advocate, from your throne in heaven to your Father and to my Father, to your God and to my God, reconcile me with him. Repay my debts out of the infinite treasury of your merits and obtain for me assistance in my present trial and the grace that I need so much. In the Our Father, you have composed a prayer with which I will now approach the Father. Accompany me, and with the fervor and power of your most sacred heart, as my mediator, say with me, Our Father, who art in heaven. O divine Jesus, who has said, Ask, and you shall receive. Seek, and you shall find. Knock, and it shall be opened to you. Behold me, prostrate at your feet. Animated with a lively faith and confidence in the promises dictated by your sacred heart and pronounced by your adorable lips, I come to ask your aid. From whom shall I ask, O sweet Jesus? Is not from you whose heart is an inexhaustible source of all graces and merits? Where shall I seek if not from the treasure which contains all the riches of your clemency and bounty? Where shall I knock? if it not be at the door of your sacred heart through which God himself comes to us and through which we go to God. To you then, O heart of Jesus, I have recourse. In you I find consolation when afflicted, protection when persecuted, strength when overwhelmed with trials and light in doubt and darkness. I firmly believe you can bestow on me the grace I implore even though it should require a miracle. You have only to will it, and my prayer will be granted. I know I am most unworthy of your favors, O Jesus, but this is not a reason for me to be discouraged. You are the God of mercies, and you will not refuse a contrite and humble heart. Cast upon me a look of pity, I conjure you, and your compassionate heart will find in my miseries and weakness a pressing motive for granting my petition. But, O Sacred Heart, whatever may be your decision with regard to my request, I will never cease to adore, love, praise, and serve you. Deign, O Jesus, to accept my act of perfect submission to the decrees of your adorable heart, which I sincerely desire may be fulfilled in and by me, and all your creatures forever and ever. Amen. Act of Consecration to the Sacred Heart of Jesus Most sweet Jesus, Redeemer of the human race, look down upon us humbly prostrate before your altar. We are yours, and yours we wish to be, but to be more surely united with you, behold each one of us who freely consecrate themselves today to your sacred heart. Many indeed have known you. Many too, despising your precepts, have rejected you. Have mercy on them all, most merciful Jesus, and draw them to your sacred heart. Be you king, O Lord, not only of the faithful who have never forsaken you, but also of the prodigal children 
who have abandoned you. Grant that they may quickly return to their father's house, lest they die of wretchedness and hunger. Be you king of those who are deceived by erroneous opinions or whom discord keeps aloof, and call them back to the harbor of truth and the unity of faith, so that soon they may be but one flock and one shepherd. Grant, O Lord, to your church assurance of freedom and immunity from harm. Give peace and order to all nations, and may the earth resound from pole to pole with one cry, praise to the divine heart that wrought our salvation. To it be glory and honor forever. Amen.